Hey Save the Rumors, we are here on our first stop and this is our 2021's first escape room a tour. We're in Naples, Maryland and our first stop is Mission Escape Rooms. We're trying the Once Up a Prime room here so let's go check them out. Everybody, Escape the Rumors here. We are in Annapolis, Maryland at Mission Escape Rooms, one of their locations. And I'm with Jason, who is the owner. Jason, how are you? Nice to see you. Doing great. Thank oh. you guys for coming out. Thank you for having us. Um, so we're going to you know, ask some questions about you know, your rooms and your games and your company. The first thing I want to know, though, is like out of the rooms that you have available right now, which one is your favorite? Ooh, that's tricky. See, you guys are going to be going to our Rundle Mills location later on today, which I'm very happy for you guys to be experiencing. So this Annapolis location was opened in 2016 when industry standards were single room gameplays. Mm -hmm. um, since then, we've obviously grown as a company. We were producing our own in-house gameplay for uh, quite a period of time. Um, I would have to say my favorite room is probably Medieval Crimes, the last showing at Rundle Mills. Those are both three to four room gameplays. Um, out of this location, I think the room Once Upon a Crime, which is a fairy tale crime scene, is going to be the favorite one here. And I believe that's the one we're going to play today. That is correct. Yes. All right, cool. So Jason, um, tell us, like, what have you changed or implemented, you know, due to the pandemic? Like, what changes have you made for your location? Well, it's funny. I mean, we just happened to be walking by one of our plexiglass dividers. Um, we are taking all the CDC protocols and then some at all the locations. Okay. Uh, we do require all employees to be wearing face masks. We're taking temperature checks upon arrival. We do have hand sanitizing stations throughout uh, the facility. Mm -hmm. um, all the rooms are now private bookings only. So regardless of whether you're a group of two or ten, that is going to be your group. Um, by itself. Okay. I know some other escape rooms prior, pre, you know, pre-COVID pandemic were already implementing that. Right. Um, we had built a successful business on pairing groups together, and um, I generally enjoyed doing that. I felt like, you know, if you got paired with another group, you just end up leaving with new friends. Yeah. Um, so that was a change and a challenge for us. Uh, but and then also following those experiences, we're thoroughly sanitizing all of the rooms in between bookings. So okay. we're taking all the appropriate steps, making sure that we're social distancing. We have all of our rooms at a staggered start time such that we're, you know, we're limiting interaction in the lobby. Um, and customers generally are feeling very safe. I think a lot of people are looking forward to getting out of the house. You know, we've had a lot of cabin fever and, you know, no pun there, we have a cabin fever room <laughs> at Aronda Mills. Um, but yeah, so it's, it's been good to kind of get past this initial scare. And, um, you know, again, we're taking all those, those steps uh, necessary and, um, looking forward and happy to see all the customers faces yeah uh, well thank you for taking the precautions and you know you know um making sure that everything is good to go especially for customers who are hesitant on you know getting back into sure. playing escape rooms in person and um i hope most of these companies are also doing the same thing because we think it's very important sure and, and you know like a step further removing high touch point things so our props you know we, we love having we're married walk by our little photo booth area oh, here yeah. and with our branded imagery up here and so having a, you know, a space for customers to be able to still celebrate their win or loss, you know, not making it out in time, being able to take that photo, you know, we remove hats and, and cloth materials and stuff that are high touch points. And we're only leaving things in place that we are a thousand percent positive we can fully sanitize. So that's okay. been important for us as well. Thank you for that. Cool. Uh, we're here with Deanna, who is one of the game masters slash game hosts at Mission Escape Rooms in Annapolis, Maryland. So I have a question because we, I know you see a lot of funny and interesting and crazy things. What is one of the most craziest things that you've ever seen? 
Okay, so I'll say probably some of the craziest things I've seen, probably because we are in downtown Annapolis, so the nightlife and uh, the things around here. But we were around a lot of bars and things like that. We'll host a lot of different types of events, like bachelorette parties and bachelor parties and things like that as well. Um, so, so probably one of the craziest things I've seen is sometimes like if we have like people who maybe had a drink or two come into some of our rooms, um, sometimes they'll get overly scared by some of the props or they'll start freaking out and things like that as well. Um, sometimes with uh, some of our props, sometimes like they'll drop down or things like that. Sometimes that'll scare some people and uh, that could be pretty entertaining. Yeah. I had one time where like uh, this lady was kind of scared from it and then she like, she kind of like backed up, she like took a little seat, so I thought that was kind of funny. <laughs> um, but there was one time too, we had like a group of like 12 year old boys in a room. One of them really wanted to ask for a clue, the other one really didn't want a clue. So they were kind of, they were like running around the room chasing each other about hitting the button. It was pretty funny. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I think especially like in, in the area where there's a lot of bars and when you do host like a lot of kids, anything can happen when they're in the room because, you know, the pressure and then all of a sudden they just yeah. like, lose their place and where they are and then, yeah, so thank you for sharing that. I really appreciate that. Yeah, no problem. It's, it's a really cool event for a lot of people of a lot of variety of different ages. So we get a lot of kids having a lot of fun in the room and then we do get the more like kind of like adult kind of like after party kind of things as well. Yeah. And it works for all ages. I can imagine. Well, thank you for sharing that. So Jason, we know that you have three locations and uh, this is the first one, Annapolis. And I think you started in 2016 was when you opened? Correct, May of 2016, I had decided, I was coming out of a career of professional auto racing, started working for corporate America and then ultimately quickly figured out that I just did not want to work for anyone else. Right. So I was looking for opportunities to, you know, uh, start my adventure. And um, my family and I went to an escape room that was brand new down in DC, Escape Room Live. I'm sure you've been to their facilities before. Yep. It was their first location. It was in the basement of a Starbucks on a corner, small location. We got absolutely nowhere in the room. I mean, <laughs> saw like two steps in it, but we had a great time. Okay. And we walked away from that experience and my father is kind of his one uh, claim to, to glory is he kind of looked at us and he says, I wonder why there's not one of these in Annapolis. And that was the light bulb moment. And so that was what led me to ultimately pursuing kind of end of 2015 with opening this store May of 2016. Okay. What is one of the most challenging obstacles you've had while building a room, concept ideas, puzzles, like what is one of them? Yeah, so we um, we build one thing that we pride ourselves on. All three locations are within a 30 minute drive of each other. And so we try, you know, I built this business model um, kind of mimicking and mirroring uh, movie theaters in the sense that you can go experience a new movie every couple of weeks. So we have 11 rooms company wide. And one thing that we kind of differentiate ourselves with is that we try to build a new room every five to six weeks. Mm -hmm. And so it's all within a driving distance of each other. Um, you know, we see a lot of tourists in the summertime, but most of our audience is a local audience. Um, so we're building every five to six weeks challenges. Uh, Pre-COVID, the biggest challenge, so we were actually building all of our rooms in-house in a workshop. I had two full-time uh, team members that were designing the rooms. And I'd say the biggest challenge when you're dealing particularly with creative people, both of them came from a, de you know, a degree of um, uh, industrial design, mm -hmm. is the balance of ownership to design and creativity and they wish they had the budget of Disney World and the time frame to build of Disney World and then being a small business owner in what is relatively a small city town, being Annapolis as you know, compared to New York or Washington DC, right. um, being able to kind of find that middle ground. So that's been challenging. Um, post pandemic, what's been our greatest challenge is uh, particularly here in Maryland, we are being uh, bundled in with those that pay the admission and amusement tax. And so when amusement parks and movie theaters and all these large, you know, corporately owned businesses are forced to close, we're also being bundled in that. Right. Because Even there's no have... classification for Correct. escape rooms by themselves. Correct. And so that's been particularly challenging. We more recently, uh, there was a, a, a mandate um, that came out uh, back in December. Our local executive, uh, uh, Stuart Pittman, had forced all those paying the a and tax to shut down. We were able to fight that and we ended up getting a special exception uh, for escape rooms. So we kind of paved the path for other escape rooms in the county to stay open. So if you look at their frequently asked questions, it says, can mission escape rooms stay open? And it says yes, and it identifies it. Doesn't even say can escape rooms. Right. I mean, that goes to show also that there's still this longevity to the industry, given that people don't know that it is, you know, escape rooms. And they're starting to kind of just categorize it as mission escape rooms as opposed to just escape rooms in general. Gotcha. So that's been a challenge. Okay. 
Jason, tell us, like, uh, give us uh, an escape room company or game that was memorable for you. Hmm. It doesn't have to be a favorite, just one that stood out. So memorable, I would say, I mean, given that I'm living in Annapolis and I actually now currently reside in Washington, D.C., I've visited a lot in the area and in the state. Um, I think Escape Room Live, what I love about them is that they spend a lot of money building out the sets. And so they have really beautiful sets. I mean, you walk in and it's just wow. Um, and then on top of that, Escape the Room DC, which I think you guys have also experienced as well. We played uh, Jurassic Escape. Right Jurassic, that's my favorite one there. Um, I mean, that one, it looks like it's straight out of the movie. And, and the props and, and steps in between are so interactive and very challenging. I mean, it was something, I brought a few of the vets with me, I brought some of my staff and team members with me, and we thought that we would have that one down to a T, and that was a challenging room. Um, and then there's another one, I can't remember the name, and I'm gonna have to give it to you at some point, but there was an insane asylum room. Maybe you can remember that. Local, around here? It's in DC. In DC. You started right. in, a, in a cushion padded, uh, padded room, and it was mostly Gen 1 tech in it. Um, a lot of padlocks, a lot of kind of grabbing, working through notes and whatnot, but it was probably one of the most interactive experiences that is not uh, weighing heavy on tech like uh, the Jurassic Room did. So, okay. a nice flavor of things in the, you know, the DC DMV area, but yeah. they've all been great. I have to do some research and find out what that is. <laughs> well, hey, Jason, thank you so much for answering our questions. Absolutely. Um, it's great to learn more about you know the creativity behind your company and the designs and sharing stories with us about like some of the experiences you had. And uh, we look forward to playing in this room, which is Once Upon a Crime. We're very excited. Uh, this is the very first game from our tour. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to open some locks. Like, in person with my hands. <laughs> Absolutely. We're happy to have you guys. And for those that are watching, feel free to connect with us on social media. Uh, Mission Escape Rooms in Naples, or Runnel Mills, Wall Chapel. We do have a website as well, missionescaperooms.com. We'd love to hear from you guys and look forward to seeing you all kind of coming back to some sort of uh, level of, of normalcy. <laughs> yeah. And don't forget to like and subscribe our YouTube channel. Check out our website, escaperooms.com, for a review on what we thought of this room. And you know what to expect when you get here to Mission Escape Rooms in Annapolis. Hey, Escape Roomers. We are here in um, Arendelle Mills, and this is Mission Escape's second location. We're going to try their newest game here. Let's check it out.